Hello YouTubers and welcome to Geeky Bricks. So today we are going to be bringing you a Pablo. Um, so first off I've never done a Pablo but this is at the request of one of my uh, YouTube subscribers, someone that has been a very loyal subscriber to me um, throughout my years um, on YouTube, my couple of years, probably two and a half years now, something like that, on YouTube. So thank you to him, his name is Matt. I'm not going to give away his entire name um, unless he wants me to and let me know Matt because I'm quite happy to put your name down in the description and anything else you want in the description to this video just uh, let me know and I will do that if you want any links to any of your social media um, as such let me know um, so like I said it is a picking a brick link order so I'm looking down here so apologies for that because what I'm looking at is the order itself so if I bring that in um, you can see there indeed we have the Bricklink order along with the pieces or parts um, that Matt has bought from my store on this occasion he has bought from me um, a couple of times now um, so that's where we start is obviously the brick brink pick sorry brick link order itself so I print that off um, obviously from my brick link store which makes it far easier just to follow this and then I can start picking this is part of my store here. You'll probably get to see uh, more of it in a second as we work through this and pick it off. And then obviously we need to pack it up um, and get it shipped out to Matt in, um, on this occasion. So um, I'm also gonna have Ethan helping me. Come here, Ethan. So people, I don't know if they can see him. I'll be at the top of your head. There he is. There's Ethan. So he's gonna be helping me. So today, his duty is gonna be cameraman. <laughs> so in a minute, Ethan's gonna be holding the camera. So. I apologize in advance because I would even be doing this so it may well be a bit shaky even if I was holding it it would probably be a bit shaky but Aoife's never done that before so um, if it is a little bit shaky um, sorry in advance um, for that but we will do our best won't we Ethan yeah so all we can do is we can do our best like I said Matt requested this never done one before so let's see how it goes okay everyone so here we are back and now we have Ethan behind the camera and me in front of the camera so this is my sort of work area I'll leave you to guess what this is but anyway this is a bit of a shared room so this is my Lego Bricklink room but it's also shared with my wife as well um, so there we are there's the order so I have that out in front of me I have pots here which is where I pick the Lego and put the Lego into um, each individual pot um, so first off what I do is down here what you guys probably won't see I don't know if you can get on that Ethan Look at that area, make sure it's zoomed in. So here, I think I'm looking there, is the location as to where that particular piece is. So that says B016. So the first area I need to go to, to get that is B016. So B016 is around there, so you'll probably need to go outside Ethan to get me in the shop. So here's all these, they're all labeled up. And um, you can see all the letters on here. So first off I have to find B O. So here's my stack of B, and I can see B O there. So I get that out. Here is B O. Okay, then what I do, this is the way I do it, I then take this tray back into this room, open it up, and I want B O 16. So here. Uh, you can see number 16, so that's going to be it right in there. So open that up. He wants one, and I can see I've only got one left. So there it is. All still packaged up. Okay. And I also have the card. It's one of the advent calendar ones, so I cut these Wait. off. Um, so it's one of the advent calendars. It is, um, um, as you can see there. So that's the first thing. That goes into a pot like that. Then what I do, is to make sure I remember, I circle it, one of those, and I tick it. So now I know that I have picked that. I've got one of them, and I've ticked it to say that I have got that one. So that's the first part. Okay, guys, so that's that first one picked. So the next thing we do is obviously put this back, like so. So that just slides back in there, put those two back on top. Next thing we need to do is look where we're going next which is, oh it's a minifigure next, series 11, and it's telling me it's number four and it's in drawer seven. So I've got some drawers in here. I see I've got all sorts in here as well. Um, part of my Lego uh, Brickling store. So here's drawer seven. 
So we open up number seven. What was it again? Sorry, it is series 11. We've got some series 10 in that bag, and here are the series. I see series 11. Oh, we haven't got many series 11 left. And he wants number four. So in here, we're going to have a number four. And there it is. Number four. So that's that one. So that's that pick. Same again. Circle that off. He wants one. It's the last one I've got. That is that part pick. Okay, and then obviously just put those back into draw seven and pop them away like so. So next we are going off to BY8, back out there Ethan. <coughs> so BY, that we'll do this one a bit different this time. Take the pop with me, BY8, and he wants all three that are in BY8. There's BY. We get BY down. Right, so. Go here, BY8 is the skeletons. You can see there, so I'm going to pick more of those out. Three of those. Uh, everything that's in here, basically. We've got the arms, the legs, everything. Take them out carefully and pop them in here. Quite a few bits of that skeleton, so that's everything out of there. All the legs, all the arms, the body, and three heads. Put that back. By anyway, eight. There we go, nice and neatly. So that is that one done. Circle that off, three of those, and tick. Now next we're going to pick a brick cup two. So some I've got in the pick a brick cups there in this cabinet. So yeah, this is where I've got a small like an overflow of larger, where I've got larger quantities, I guess. So pick a brick cup number two. And if Ethan can see in there, see there's lots of those in there, so we need the little you know, tiny need guns. Yeah. Five of these. So one, two, three, four, and five. Five of those into there, put the lid back on that, we don't want that falling over, that goes back, in there, so we've picked those, we have picked five of those, next he wants another gun but it's a minifigure weapon gun, it's a small blaster, he wants five of those, they are in CA1, back out here, CA is up here, bring this down, CA is this box, so again, we're going to see a number one, which obviously is there, and he wants five of these blasters. So one, two, three, can't get them out, three, four, five. So that's five of the blasters. Close that up. Put the black pack up there. That's that one done. So again, back in. Circle those off and tick off. So you get the gist of it. So what I'm going to do now is just pick the rest of this order and then we'll be back once it's all picked. Okay, so here we go. That is everything picked for this order. Um, so everything is now circled and ticked on the pick list, um, which is there. And then if you can see here, I don't know if you can see that here. Uh, Ian? Who's Ian? Ethan. <laughs> They're all Matt's bits um, in the pots. Which Ethan is there showing you, so they're all picked. Um, then what we do, if you move back a bit, Ethan. Then what we do is I just simply stack all these up, particularly with something like this, because there's uh, small pieces, fairly small quantities. So I can put all those in there like this. Because we then go to a different area, which is where I um, in, my, uh, in a different room in my house. Uh, which is where I basically pack this up and then it's all ready to ship out. So that's it for the main part of picking the actual order. I'll just show you, although it may be very boring, actually then um, packing these up and ready to actually ship them out so that the um, packaging and envelope or bubble mailer or box or whatever it may be um, is all ready to go out to Matt on this occasion. So we'll be back again very shortly.
Okay, so here we are back now, ready to pack. Um, so we can see there is the order, there are the pots with all the pieces in, so now let's get these all out. Um, and depending on what the quantities are, I'd either put them separately or I'd put them together, try to put them in some sort of logical order together. Um, so on this occasion, I'll keep those separate because that can be quite confusing, the skeleton. Keep those separate, that's separate, that's separate. The lightsabers, I think I will put all together. They can go in there. That's more lightsaber hilts there. We have the guns, put those in there with the trigger. I'll put those small blasters in there as well, and I'll put the bones uh, in with those because they can be seen quite easily. So that's a total of one, two, three, four, five separate items. That's obviously going to go in by itself um, into the probably bubble mailer in this occasion. I then use um, the bags that Lego comes in to put these in. So most of these will be small ones. I have my box, which you can see here just slightly in the background, which has got scissors and tape, etc., in there and some other bits and pieces. So quite simply, what I then do is I take one of these, small one, and we've got these pieces in here. Just simply tip those in. You can see there, they're now in the bag, like so. I'm going to take the tape and simply fold that over. Take that up, like so. So there's the first items packaged up ready to go so they can go there um, same again this should fit in a small one let's try and again we have all those small pieces in there tape like so fold that over tape that up and we have our next one ready to go. Let me do those two there and we will be right back. Okay, so here we are back and you can see here are all the packages all ready to go. And we can see all packaged up. So the next thing um, for me is to decide what size bubble mailer um, they're gonna go into. So I think this size is appropriate for this one. Then just a case of getting them in there, but not just shoving them in, um, because certainly here in the UK, I don't know what it's like in the States or other countries, um, but it's based, the postage cost is based on the size and weight of the package. And I know the weight, um, but the sizing is ridiculous. Um, I think if it's over two centimeters in width or depth, then, um, they charge you more uh, the price has got quite considerably um, so we need that to be as thin as possible um, to go with the postage cost um, that I've obviously um, charged Matt in this occasion and I only charge postage at cost so if that costs more then it's purely down to me the cost is um, absolutely down to me um, next thing I do um, I take out some of these folders I've got here so there's a little flyer in there which I put in, so take one of those out. There is a sender label, which needs to go onto the back. So this is a return address, if for some reason it's not successful in getting to map. So put one of those on the back. That's that bit done. Put that back in there, so that's that finished with. Get that out of the way. Come to those folders in a minute. There's my little flyer that I put in. So just simply fold that across like so. And right on the back of all of these, thanks, because I am grateful. So thanks. My little smiley face. Then what I do, something I choose to do, and this is more Star Wars related because of the lightsabers. I have stickers. Um, so I've got Star Wars stickers here. Let's see what we've got here. <coughs> and Depending on the size of the order will be dependent on how many stickers I put in there. Um, fairly small order this one. Um, but I like Matt, he's a great guy. So I just cut these stickers out like so. 
I'm going to give him a fairly healthy selection of stickers without fitting that. Yeah, let's give him all those. All those stickers, all Star Wars related, so that's that done. Then what I tend to do is put that inside my little compliment slip. So the stickers are inside there. What I also do is put the pick list in there because I don't need that anymore. And it will probably be useful for Matt when he gets it just to check off to make sure that he's happy that he's got all the pieces. They both go into the uh, bubble mailer. Like so, but again, trying to get it in there as flat as possible, keep everything in there as flat as possible, like so. And that's it. Take the lot of that, I put extra tape on the back of it. It's just what I choose to do. And the final thing that is left to do is put Matt's address on the outside. And I'm not going to show you what his address is. I'm sure you won't uh, appreciate me doing that, but I'm just going to stick that on there now, and then I will be right back. Okay, so there we go, all packaged up. I've just um, covered over Matt's address there, but you can just see his name um, there, uh, possibly. Um, so all packaged up, that one is ready to go out. What I then do, let's do this, put that over. Um, here my other ones that I've got so far, waiting to go. So that one can just be added on to the pile, which we can see there. So I've got one, two, three, four, Five um, to go out tomorrow, today, Sunday, uh, when I'm recording this. So five so far um, that are ready and waiting to go out. Let's see if I've got any more today. And if they pay uh, today, then they will be added on to the list. Okay, everyone, there we go. So that is this video completed. This Pablo Pick a Brick Link order, slightly different. I think so I've done it from start to finish the whole process. Hopefully you didn't find that too boring. Um, if you did, let me know. Because it's the first one of these I've done. If I'm honest, I don't tend to do um, many, if any of these. If someone requests it, I may consider it because uh, they can be quite time consuming um, to go through everything. And obviously, the, you know, what I need to be doing is pick an order as um, quick as I can, um, but obviously, making sure I pick everything um, so make sure I don't make any mistakes. But anyway, um, so like I said, they're the orders that are waiting to go out. So far today, and um, we'll be going out tomorrow. So like I said, hopefully you did enjoy this video. If you did, give it that big thumbs up, guys. Go on, show me your support, show me your appreciation. Uh, any comments, questions, or feedback, and please do, this time, please let me know what you think of this Pablo. Um, was it interesting for you guys, um, seeing how I pick an order, and indeed seeing how um, the process works? Um, if you have a look, actually, in on my vlog channel, I think it's on my vlog channel, there is uh, another video that's related to Bricklink, um, which I showed um, some months ago. Um, so take a look over at that as well, because it's even, um, that's parting out, part of the parting out um, process. So I've kind of linked the two together. I may put that down in the link to this actually, um, if I can. I'm not sure if I can, if it's on a different channel. Um, but anyway guys, like I said, um, any comments, questions, feedback, leave down in the description. If you haven't done so already, please do uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Geeky Bricks. I will probably put this on my vlog channel as well, actually, on Destination Vlog. So if you're on that one, obviously subscribe to Geeky Bricks. And if you're on Geeky Bricks, subscribe to Destination Vlogs and indeed um, the Geeky Bricks channel. Anyway, guys, I look forward to seeing you all in the next video. Cheers. Bye for now, everyone. See you soon. Cheers.